For those who are new here, I'm Ellie and you're watching Philippine Beauty. So for today's video guys, as you can see, this is a very beautiful crown right here and I have my very beautiful sash, the first runner-up for Miss Elegant 2023. So as you have guessed, this is going to be the last part of our series for the recap of the 2023, the things that I've been doing in the last year. So this is going to be the last topic about that. And I am going to show you my sashes. So basically this is the sash that I brought home from the coronation night, the first runner-up. And this is the crown, very beautiful. It's also very lightweight. And they actually let us bring the crown because whenever we have events, we can wear the crown, we can wear the sash. And then also, I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to keep this like my entire life, but I'm not really sure. That depends really on the next year if they need to get the crown back or not really sure. The official sash that I wore throughout the whole journey, this is the candidate number five, Miss Tibanga. So pretty. Miss Congeniality. Yes, that's one. So Miss Congeniality is um, something that is um, voted by all of the candidates and it is a similar concept with Miss Friendship, something like that. But anyway guys, without further ado, we are going to proceed on to this video and I'm going to show you all the adventures that we had and I'm going to show you the sponsorship videos, the um, all of the shoots that we had, all of the coronation night events, all the question and answer portion, the evening gown, the swimsuit and everything. I'm going to lay it out for you guys and enjoy. So I'm just going to show you the official shoots, the official um, exposures and not much of the BTS but if you're interested to see the BTS you can comment down below and maybe I'll consider posting should I should I should I not should I post but anyways I hope you enjoy the videos guys have fun I am Francine Altimon 22 from Barangay Tibanga and I want to draw attention to crucial subjects today championing mental health safe spaces with countless individuals silently battling mental health issues. It is my duty to shatter stigma and extend compassionate havens, elevate mental health on par with physical well-being. And we can put emphasis on using healthy measures like recreational activities, sports, dancing, health wellness, and Larong Pinoy as a healthy coping mechanism to release stress and to spread awareness for the good of all most especially for our youth. By fostering understanding and empathy through education, we forge spaces. This isn't just change. It is an essential transformation that unites us all. So join me and join the movement to ensure that no one suffers in solitude. Let us act now for mental health safe spaces. And together, we create safe minds, strong hearts,
Now hold on. And it goes like this. We're gonna hit your car and you need to kiss me. We'll talk for hours and night on the back seat. And we won't crack the night when everything changes. You won't reply and we'll go back to straight. showcases the candidates commitment to physical fitness from the screening process everyone to the selection of the official candidates from wardrobe fitting to a series of photo shoots and video shoots it's been an incredible journey for our 12 candidates here at a missing gun 2023 
Francine L. is presently taking up a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering tech. She enjoys watching, enjoys watching documentaries about marine life. Her advocacy, building mental health, building mental health safe spaces for the youth, is a way for them to release their stress through recreational activities, sports, health, and wellness. Candidate number five, Francine L. from Tibana. Let's welcome to the center stage candidate number five. Candidate number five, you're wearing a very beautiful gown. I hope that you are now ready for the first part of the final Q&A. You may pick your question and hand it over to Annabelle. of Health joined the World Health Organization in celebrating its 75th anniversary in honor of the Philippines' significant role in ensuring that everyone can attain the highest quality of health. Do you think equal access to quality health care for all Filipinos is a right or a privilege and why? Again, this year's Department of Health joined the World Health Organization in celebrating its 75th anniversary in honor of the Philippines' significant role in ensuring that everyone can attain the highest quality of health. Do you think equal access to quality health care for all Filipinos is a right or a privilege, and why? I am a firm believer that Equal health care should be a right to each and every Filipino because being having this ability to go through a lot of changes or to enlarge yourself into I know that I know that a lot of people have struggled with trying to promote themselves or to indulge themselves in health care. And I want to break the barrier or want to really break that stigma that only the rich people are supposed to have a proper health care. Because 
the one thing that we really need to need focus on is that in order to develop our city, not just our city, but also in our country, is that we should also put importance that the marginal people should also be given importance and they should also be taken care of. That is why I believe that each Filipino should have the right and it is supposed to be given equally. Thank you. I have to agree with you, candidate number five. In Stick around for the final announcement of who's taking home our Miss Iligan 2023. Oh, there you are. Sorry. How are you? I'm feeling very nervous and I'm actually kind of very nervous because of my voice. I hope it's really audible to all of you guys. And <laughs> Thumbs up. I love it. Well, there's no need for you to be nervous. You're absolutely glowing right now. I love your dress. I've never seen so many pearls on one dress. So, Kaya Moyen. All right. So, my final question for you is, Iligan City is bordered by the Iligan Bay, offering a captivating coastal scenery and splendid sunsets that paint the sky with hues of crimson and gold. Like a re resplendent sunset... How can you make Iligan City shine like gold for the whole world to see? I believe that the best way to promote anything is through education. Because once a person knows how to understand the roots and understands why it is beautiful, then you can know how to share it and express it in two different fields, may it be through art, social media, and any forms of fields. And one of the greatest ways to actually promote Ligan City, is aside from the other activities that we have, one of the greatest activities that we have is the Ende Festival. And I believe that we should really use this platform, most especially pageantry, because I believe that pageantry is not just of the aesthetics or the beauty. It is about having the heart to become of service of other people, to have an advocacy to change the city and become an, an inspiration to the youth. And with that, we can have a lot of activities that would inspire our people and then our people will inspire other people as well. All right. Saved by the bell. Congratulations. You did a great job. Let's give her a big round of applause. Candidate number five from Barang Candidate number five is Francine L. Simon. To present the award to our first runner-up is Josephine Tauho, Michael Andre Tejano, and the Honorable Tito Sarion. Distinguished judges for being here with us this evening on having the difficult decision of deciding who is Miss Iligan 2023. We have three remaining candidates. So that was it, you guys. It was truly a blast. The whole journey was both a mix of happiness, hardships, trials and struggles, and also triumph and also successes. You know, unlocking certain things that I did not know about myself and then I knew. <laughs> Who could really have thought that an event or a certain um, redirection in life or a certain path would bring you or open so much more opportunities and that's really what happened to me and I'm really glad that I gave this a shot and you know venture into new things and new pageantry that's <laughs> I really did not think that I would be a queen I would become a beauty queen but here we are. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who has been there to support me. Not just you guys who are watching me here on YouTube, but also to the people who really helped me throughout this whole journey in Miss Iligan. Who's been there, been through my worst, and been through all the journey in life. <laughs> Especially my family, my friends, my schoolmates, even the girls in the competition, my team, my um, coach, my makeup artist, everyone was really helpful as well. One of the greatest things that I've learned in this pageant is that the best teacher is experience. And that does not just apply with pageantry, it applies with 
all the aspects that you have to go through in your life. Another lesson that I also learned, if you are doing something, you must give your 100% to it. It was a, a struggle. You know, I had to balance my um, schedule with classes, my majors, my major classes, and also to always be present during practices, to always be present during performances, to decide which is more going to be my priority, what is more going to be important, and what could be something that I could set aside for now, and then I'll come back and do it later, something like that. Confidence, that is one of the greatest uh, things that I also applied during my journey. Confidence, I need to be confident that I know this, I can do this, I may not be the master or the best in the subject, but I am very much willing to learn so that was it you guys thank you so much for sharing your time with me and as always this is your girl ellie and i am forever thankful for you guys and grateful that you're always here to support me and here watching my vlogs you guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for sharing your time with me please don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video also guys, don't forget to leave your comments down below because I will be reading those and I will be responding to all of your comments. So that was it you guys. I'll be posting every Saturday but if I didn't get to post on that Saturday, most likely I'm having an exam. I'm having an exam. I'm in the battlefield of the academy of IIT. <laughs> Anyways you guys, that was it. Bye! See you in the next video. Have a blessed day.